getting the license plate going. Hey guys. So unfortunately, it seems like our old Walmart special friend, the Dual TBX-10A, has officially been pulled off the shelves after being shoved to the clearance rack for under $40, which is actually a shame because we really think it's actually a very good value. However, in the place on the shelf where the TBX used to reside, now lives a very similar but more versatile powered amplifier from Jensen. So ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I present to you the very first video to my knowledge on the Jensen J10 ASB powered subwoofer from Walmart. But before we get into it and check it out, I want to answer a question that I received in the comments about hooking up the harness to the TBX 10A. And then we're going to do a really quick sound test. And then we're going to compare the two side by side and review the J10 ASB and figure out why they look so similar. I actually have already figured out why they look so similar. Stay tuned for more on that. So to demonstrate how to actually connect the small wires of these harnesses to the much bigger wires that come in these amp kits, this is just gonna be a really quick demonstration on that. To see a full install of a dual TBX-10A, which is pretty much the exact same thing as this, I'll leave a card up there for you guys to go check that out. So we've got RCAs ran back here, we've got a remote, we have our power and ground as you can see. So now you can see here, we have our regular connectors, but we also have these big four gauge connectors. This is a, I believe a five gauge wire. This one's more like a 10. So one thing you can do, take, this would be the power, and these will go into, these are a 10 to 12 regular butt connector. You can put one in one side. I like to push them up as far as I can and take back a little bit more of the sheathing than normal and kind of push them up as far as I can. And then these actually will fit. What you might have to do, take some side cutters, and just cut a little bit off to where you can get it to fit in there. I don't really like to do that, but I have seen it work. And then, you know, you'll obviously have your connection. But what I'm going to do, and this is what I recommend, take your power, strip it back kind of far, and then wrap these two, and then ultimately stick them in there, and then do maybe two or three crimps. These four gauge you can get with the crimpers on like just about any normal crimping tool but that's what I like to do. And you can either cut off the tab after that, or you can just leave it open and tape it up really well in case if you wanted to add a second amplifier. I'm about 6'1", 240 pounds, by the way. But I have to get the remote wire. What? Well, yes, it is a Lazy Boy strapped to a detuned Corvette engine. Thank you. Doesn't really take up too much space, does it? All right, so. We're all hooked up. Let's go turn the car on. Doesn't go up all the way. All right, looks like we have a power LED. Don't hear any noise. Let's start it. Yeah. Mark. Hard to tell, but I can't hear any engine noise. That's one of the things I liked about the TBX 10A. These are very quiet. Unlike that power acoustic, that thing was so bad. Let's cue up some music. We're gonna do Nefix Hustlin' again. I've been looking for a different one, but this one really shows the bass and it's copyright free. Uh, these are just literally good old GM concert sound in the doors. And I think there's like some Scotch 6.9s in the back, I don't remember. But, and this is just a boss head unit. But let's go ahead and check this out. Getting the license plate going, doing the damn thing. Okay, so side by side, if you were kind of squinting, you might think that the one on the right just had, is a TBX 10A with a Jensen subwoofer in it. The thing I noticed when I saw the JSB on the shelf at Walmart was the grill, and I instantly figured it out as soon as I saw the grill. I figured these have to be the same company. Well, they actually are the same company. Both Dual and Jensen are acquired by Namsung, or Namsung of America. Jensen was acquired by Audiovox, I believe, in 2004. And around that time, uh, Dual made this subwoofer, which I think kind of gave Dual a bad name or like a stigma, because 
I owned one of those and it looked cool for like one second, but the closer you got to it, you just noticed the thing was a piece of crap. That's one of the things that actually surprised me about the Duel and why I was so amazed at, you know, the build quality and the sound that actually came out of this product. Both companies, a couple of decades ago, were very, very well known, especially Duel, was well known and well revered and kind of still is to this day for their phono cartridges and their record players. Jensen was also a pretty big player in the hi-fi field as well. I think honestly, just because of that subwoofer or, you know, around that time era of car audio, Duel kind of got a bad name for that. This one on the clearance rack, I was like, man, there's no way that they can actually be discontinuing that. It seems like they've been selling really well. Going by the numbers of the video that I did on the install of this. In reality, pretty much what Namsung did was they took this design and they actually made it better with a couple of features that stand out. But now if we take a look, both of the amplifiers look pretty much almost identical as far as, you know, where everything is laid out. Also, notice where the harness goes in. So that tells me that this is probably running the same amplifier as this one. And as we remember, this only does about 100 to 140 watts, so it doesn't really have a lot of power. This is a sealed box, which sealed boxes require a little bit more power. So what they've done is they've actually taken the TBX-10A and they've improved it in several ways. One way, like I said, it seems like they're utilizing the fact that it doesn't make that much power. They're kind of doing extra things to kind of help that. One problem with the TBX-10A was it didn't have the really good low end. It didn't sound too good. Well, this one has that low end, and there's two reasons why. One is it's ported, so that's going to help out a lot. Whereas, like I just said, the other one's sealed. Plus, sealed enclosures take more power to produce more uh, sound. Another thing that's going to help the, the low bass and the sound is this is actually, you can have it in multiple positions, meaning you can have it up like that, or, which is the way I'm going to use it like this, you can have it down firing. And what down firing does is it pushes the bass down and then it pushes it along the floor of your car to kind of spread out and produce a lower frequency of bass. Now that being said, I didn't notice any difference in the high notes of the bass. They actually sound just as good as the TBX-10A, but honestly, between the two, I think they made the right choice in adding these features. Okay, so we pretty much established that the two are very, very similar, and like I was kind of hinting to in the beginning, um, the harnesses are exactly the same, except for, if you check this out, the J10 ASB and the TBX 10A actually have uh, the ground and the power wires swapped on the harness. So one is ground remote power and the other one is power remote ground. So if you get these and you're wanting to upgrade your TBX 10A to the JSB, make sure you change those connectors. So, so far, JSB already beat it out in the sound test. And the only thing that I can't really speak for thus far is longevity, but give it a year, we'll do another video. Another thing that I'm very interested in is the actual power output. <laughs> I'm wondering if they've upgraded the amplifier in any way, but if you come back next week, I'm actually gonna show you how to do a very cheap, it might even be free, DIY amp dyno, and we're gonna see how much power the JSB actually puts out. We got a lot more to come, so stay tuned. If this helped you out in any way, please comment, like, or subscribe. Subscribing is really the easiest way that you can help our small channel grow, and it just takes one little click so again if you have any questions on the tbx 10a or the jsb 10 feel free to leave any questions down in the comments and i will get to them as soon as i can but for now that's it thank you guys so much for watching have a good one hey, Get the license plate going.